Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Strategic Command World War One, episode number 14, I think, which is actually turn 12. Uh, we're still on uh, April 24th, 1915, so a little bit... Um, I, I, this is a significant way through the war, but, you know, still a little bit um, behind where I wanted to be if I was doing one episode per turn. Uh, yeah, but twice got that delayed. So let's not have that again. I have a few things I want to do here. I want to deploy this group of fighters, and I don't really think it matters where we do this because we've kind of eliminated the trench warfare where fighters and recon are going to be a huge, you know, consolidated chunk of people. But because I see stuff like airplanes over here, and I actually don't think the um, Soviets have, or sorry, the Russians at this point, I don't think the Russians have much in the way of aircraft so we're just going to deploy that on the west front and you know maybe if we're lucky we can use that to control the massive number of light carriers that are floating around the uh, English homeland. Next thing I want to do is make sure I take care of the Ottomans. There's a few things that I need to react to. Let's just get this guy set up with entrenchment like so. Um, think that there's somebody who I can reinforce. Oh, there's two people I can reinforce. Oh, I need to swap these guys. That's so that I can reinforce this unit to full next turn. Um, I'm, I would rather have a detachment here, but it's fine. I can just deal with a core. And this area is pretty much well covered against any potential invasion. Not that anybody would ever try that, but just in case. We have a few points left over. I think... There's somebody else who I can reinforce. God, I remember I was doing something. A nine? Maybe not. This guy can for sure, but is that the only one? Yeah, it appears so. Okay, so let's just do this then. And we want to move these guys forward as well. Move him forward. We could move him as far forward as here. That'll put him in the marsh though, so let's just have him defend here for now. Move my detachment forward, slowly protect our borders, and now if I hit P, this is the big thing. I'm gonna hit P and then move to the left so we can actually see the important stuff. So I have a unit up here, and you can see all these partisans which can form around Medina. We don't want that to happen, so I'm gonna move this guy back in. I don't know why I can't move him into the capital this turn. It takes more than one movement point. don't really understand why. Maybe it's only because this guy had three action points, um, because he's out of supply, but that will all, all be solved when we move him back in. This guy's fine, that guy's fine. I think that's all I wanted to do, move him back, and also it's important to see if I hit P on the map over here. There's two places partisans will spawn in Serbia, in Pristina, and in Belgrade, so we'll probably, hope, well, we'll probably leave units there, hopefully just two detachments. We also really need to move some units. I don't think any anybody is available this turn, but we really do need to move some units. I don't want to move that unit, that's a little bit too bold. We need to move some units to the um, Italian border. So, anyways, that's all I want to do. Let's zoom in so I don't get stuck zoomed out and end the turn. Okay, they lost Warsaw. France lost Belfort. We're happy about taking Warsaw. The usual unrestricted naval warfare. Serbian people are in. This guy's really screwed. I would just surrender if I were him. Oh, we apparently have sunk the Lusitania. <laughs> Whoops. Bulgaria. And it looks like taking Warsaw has also pushed Bulgaria. Oh, okay, looks like Bulgaria is going to be joining the. Uh, Central Powers. Well, that's good. Okay, we got infantry weapons. Spying on intelligence. Production technology. Command and control. That's, yeah, that's the next tick. Infantry warfare for the Austro-Hungarians. Which is good, that's their morale. Okay. <laughs> They moved 1%, so they were going to get that one anyway. But good, I mean, that was still a very nice turn. Um, we probably need to figure out a way... Oh, I think I had I had a lot left over. 
So we gained 328, which means we had like 70 left over. I probably should have spent some of that. Anyway, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'll give again my deaths, my casualties, and then theirs. Uh, this is a zero zero. It was zero, uh, two zero. We took two and they took zero. Oh my god, a <laughs> dreadnought. That was a 4 1. I'm not expecting to, to be even against that a dreadnought, but. Okay, a 0 3. Good for us. Ouch. 1 0. Yeah, where did this Russian dreadnought come from? I guess that must have just deployed? Did not expect that. And now we have to move. The battle continues, right? Now we have to move fleet back that way. Oh my god, the desktop audio is so loud. I apologize. I will turn it down <laughs> the moment I can. <laughs> Looks like the whole... All the audio is way too loud. So sorry about that. They apparently did not suffer any damage from our minefield. Which means it's yet another mine that we have to detonate ourselves, sadly. Okay, that was a... Oh god, one, a two, one, two, one, two, one. Oh god, they killed the unit outright! Oh god, it was a two, one, no, three, one. Wow, that was pretty bold. Okay, 1-4, that's good. And they have taken Warsaw back. 2-1-2-1, two, one, two, one. it was at 9, I think? 2-1-2-1-2-1-3-1, two, one, two, one, two, one, one. yeah, that would make sense. Well, very disappointing about Warsaw. I think Bulgaria is already going to join, so I hope that doesn't really have an impact. We'll see what the Russian morale's at. Do they like get morale back for retaking Warsaw, or is it a one-time drop? And they're being very aggressive, the British here. That, that unit's like practically cut off. flickering all over. If you want to try to figure out where you are, you can always look down at the mini-map. Okay, attrition. That means the turn must be over. Two pips of damage for attrition for this guy. Looks like all the French made it out without taking attrition damage. And the one Russian ones. Okay, Bulgaria has joined now. And Italian nationalists call for Italy to enter the war. Oh god, Italy prepares for war. So they're, they're going to join. That's just... Okay, so we know we have no... That, that's it. Italy is joining the war. We have one last turn to prepare. So I want to operate some things out there. Okay, so we did lose the... Oh, how does this work? Marines have spotted mantras. Okay. Oh yeah, we have spying and intelligence. So Convoys... Oh, we can send stuff to the Ottoman school. That's actually fantastic. That's really good. I'll probably want to do that immediately. Let's just see if I can do that right now. Convoy map. Um, do I have to be... What? Okay. Convoy map. I probably should have read that pop-up a little bit more closely. We do have a way through Serbia to Ottomans, which I think is the requirement. And Bulgaria is open. Maybe I can't do it until next turn. Okay, well, I'm probably going to put a pause in here just so I can see everything, think about everything, make my plans. 
A lot of the British fleet has actually disappeared, but oh my gosh. This destroyer's in range! Yes! So we can try to kick these destroyers' butts, which we did a very good job of that in the very beginning of the war, which is what has probably enabled our submarines to be so incredibly successful so far. Um, I also want to bring the airship closer over here. So this is what I want to use it for now, is scouting. And I don't know, is it only scouting one hex? If I move it here, does it scout everything in between? Which is, I mean, honestly, that's what you'd imagine. How can it not scout these if it's on its way over here? But maybe the, the, the you know, contrary viewpoint is that it's moving very quickly through these. It's not really looking around much. And then this is a large area where it does a full patrol or something. But honestly, these hexes don't look that big that I think moving, even moving through should give you information. So we'll be able to probably take Le Mans. Looks like yes. Tours, well, looks... Looks okay. Um, I don't think there's anything out here. We'll be able to kill the Cherbourg, uh, John French. Uh, two, two, oh, one, five. Okay, so this that unit will be dead. Unfortunately, it's in supply, so it'll be able to be retrieved again. This unit's probably dead, especially with this cavalry, that unit. Lots of different choices we can take to wear that down. We're actually push, pushing on Lyon already. That's kind of amazing. And these units, well, shoot, one supply, zero, one, two, yeah, so these will all be destroyed completely and not returnable, but Verdun, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about Verdun. We're just gonna have to wear it down with artillery. I'm not even sure that's gonna work because it's at 50%, it's at, it's. I think it's maximum with supply of five. So it's at entrenchment of seven. Basically, I, I don't know. It's going to continue to suck up three of our forces to just sit here and let it not do anything. But, and you'd imagine Verdun would eventually be starved out, but there's no mechanic for that in this game. This thing's already been, quote unquote, starved out for like five months. It's just not going anywhere. Um, I didn't see, somebody said that there's two different modes for this, um, the carriers, where they can do an attack with their airplanes. I don't see that option myself. So they can scout, but it doesn't look like they can scout the sea. Like I don't know this, but I can't scout that. I can only move there. And I don't know this, and that's three away. One, two, three, which this is three away. Yeah, I don't understand how light carries work. Not quite yet. Let's see what else we have going on. Just my first initial impressions of the turn. Uh, we have submarines. We can probably go explore. We have two submarines now. We can probably go to explore down here. We have battleships, destroyers in position. We have that minefield as a backup, which is great. Um, looks like we're going to be able to destroy this headquarters. Oh, okay. This unit is dead immediately. So we can actually move down here and see how this USGUB capital unit is doing. It has supply of, I don't know actually, but we'll take a look and see. Probably has supply of five, enough that this unit is not gonna be just, you know, dead right away. And then if we take this, Serbia falls. And oh gosh, I forgot, Bulgaria can actually get involved now too. So we'll probably wanna operate some units up to the, we know the Italians are going to declare war. I'd like to get the unit here and the unit here take these two places at least they can't advance far what we're going to rely on is them being out of supply if they try to push too far into the mountains and controlling this road right here is i think very important it's also a river crossing to me it's like hugely important these guys are already stuck in with an entrenchment of two that's very good i don't think we're going to try to take this territory which apparently is plains just a river crossing so nothing yeah, the mountains. We'll, we'll probably hold at the mountains. And this is also plain. So, you know, hold here, hold here, hold here. Hold. One, two, three, four. There's our trench warfare. We just stay there for the rest of the game. Or maybe we push them back. Trench warfare, we are we already have two tokens invested. Um, since this goes up to five, there's no problem with us investing more. We hopefully we'll have that pretty soon. We need it. <laughs> we need it very badly. So, okay, well, let me put a cut in here and uh, figure out what I want to do. 
Okay, well, feeling good about this original this uh, original area, the French area. Obviously, we feel pretty good about it because... Is there really nobody here? Okay, there's somebody in St. Malo and probably in Brest because... Wait, we, we should be able to see them if that was the case. Okay, this is a town, no secondary supply. This has secondary supply. So I'm gonna go for that. Yep, yeah. no, there's nobody in Brest. <laughs> oh, this is a big surprise. <laughs> Just took both of them in a, in a single swoop. That's crazy. We can do that because I can always reinforce with this cavalry here. Um, we can go move here and then move here, or move here and then move here. We'll be in position to take St. Malo next turn. I don't really know what's the better idea. Let's first attack this headquarters. And take the port. Cherbourg is now ours. And immediately I want to move this unit back out. <clears throat> Gonna get this uh, airship over here. As I mentioned, or people have mentioned to me in the comments several times, you can be using this airship to be scouting. Well, I guess I could move him... Well, there's, there's no point in scouting that. Why wouldn't we just move there? We move him here and get him to Brest next turn, or I can move him here and get him to Brest next turn. Same thing, but he'll be on the coast, and I guess he'll be acting as a defense. <laughs> Not really, but, you know, somewhat. I don't know if he, like Calvary, has some scouting range. By the way, he might be just kind of have a patrol uh, radius assumed. Um, off camera, I did manipulate all the... Wow, you're very out of range. Yeah, uh, I did manipulate all the HQs, so can we detach you? No, because uh, you've already moved. No reason to have kept that one around, but that's fine. So we can move this unit here. That's good to know. We can also move them actually to here, if we don't end up killing this unit in the Mons. I could actually attack the unit in Tours, which... Like, do we want to take the Le Mans unit? It has a supply of only two. So actually, we don't really care. It's another one of those that we can kind of move around. Which means I probably will end up attacking Tour. Uh... Okay, I had another thing about what I want to do here, and I think I'm going to go ahead and attack Le Mans. Um, we could starve them out, because they're not actually that low in morale. Um, fifty percent with the supply of two means that they should just get worse and worse and worse and worse. But we're also playing, you know, a little bit against the time here. So we'll do this attack, and then I want to move this unit probably. But let's also do this attack next. And that went pretty well, and this is perfect. So he can get here in order to put pressure on Renes, or he can just go over to Nantes directly. Well, I like that even better. That means we can protect our investment, our new investment. And this guy can't quite get into Malo, which is unfortunate, but I might even need this unit. I guess I don't need him to, do I need you? Should you go and attack and finish that guy off and then move back over? There's a lot of different possibilities here. Um, this unit can get down here. He can finish him off. Okay, so you should just move to the front. So let's do this, attack here. One to two instead of... Oh, he cannot cross now. Ooh. Could do a one to three, or I could go and attack the HQ. Okay, we must have revealed information because it won't let me undo it. So it's a one to three, or actually a one to two. Well, that's not good. We'll do the one to three. End up as a one to two as well. Um... I would love to move through this area without... Yeah. This unit can get here, so we might have this unit push past so we can take St. Malo next turn. Because I'm going to go ahead and attack this guy. Calvary. Nice. And we can... Ooh, we can get a lot of interesting places with the Calvary. I don't think I want to decide where he goes quite yet, so let's move this unit forward. And this guy can't move there, that's... Okay, he can push out if we want. We could just slowly surround tours. I don't have a good idea of what I'm trying to do here. Let me come back to this. The only one I know I want... Well, he 
doesn't even need to go to Le Mans anymore. Having this avenue open, by the way, if we look at supply, I've been given such good advice about supply. So if we have, um, HQs have different rate, um, they will create supply, increase the supply, act as a supply center. Um, and by that, I mean that if they are in a square with like a hex with six, that becomes a 10. And then that 10 is what trickles out everywhere else. So since Paris is a 10, nine, eight, seven, six, we can have this HQ in Le Mans and it'll actually count Le Mans as a, a 10 after that. Unfortunately, I don't know where this guy's gonna go, but when we move him, this guy will move here, will be a 10. Um, unfortunately, that means that our supply for this airship is going to be a bit poor. So, and the, that means this guy is gonna move over here, which means this guy, let's just do it. Oh, did we take it? No. If they move out of runs, then they, they can just have it. Yeah, I think we'll do it this way. Okay, good, so let's move over. I'll, I'll have to patch up some of the stuff we're doing here. And then we have Orleans, which is a 1-3 and one, a 2-4. Not sure if I want yet to decide on this. Let's see how the attacks here go first. Now, I think we can just kind of take the, the whatever is given to us. We don't need to be tricky. I don't even think we really need to cut off and eliminate more French troops. They have so many French corps ready to be replaced. The question is, are they gonna have the money to do any of that, especially as their money, their income, is just going to continuously be going down. So let's do this one first. Okay, one to five. It's truly a one to five. This guy could move forward if we want to do another attack. Let's see if we do. Because can this guy move that way? He can move to, okay, so you can do a two to four and then move here, I think. Let's do the one to three. Oh, two to three, that's fine. One to five. Oh, uh, now this guy can actually move and attack and probably finish off Orléon. Since we've done all that work already, I feel like we should just do that. But the cavalry might be able to. This won't reveal information. It is supposed to kill him. Okay, that's good to know. Keep that in our back pocket. Let's do our attacks here. You've done your attack, you've done your attack. We don't know where we want people to move exactly yet. I'll have to probably pause and do some supply calculations. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So we want a, an HQ in Oxair. Okay, let's do this attack. Okay, so 1, 6. This should easily be a kill. And Dijon is going to take a little while to fall. Ooh, that was brutal. Instead of, it was a 1-5. They were down to 4. They were just decimated, so it should have been like... It said 1-4. But it was probably leaning away from 1-4. to four, Like 1 to... Could have been like 1-6 to six even. I, I don't know. But then we ended up taking 2 damage. Uh, we're going to be okay here, though. Uh, we might even be able to take... Basson I don't know how to do deal with that accent, but just we'll wing it as usual. Could we take this? It's only worth one point, so it's not really worth it from that aspect. If we surround it, which we cannot do, but if we were to surround it, we could. Uh, we could. Starve it out. Supply of four is not enough. I think even moving here would cause... Well, Lyon's supply is probably an eight. And, uh, seven, six, five, four. Yeah, so I don't see how it can be... It, I mean, it, 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 we can cut it off, I guess, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Is it worth attacking? It's basically going to be getting, eh, more or less even. I don't know if we should take that. We can just work on these things. Like this is an 0 and 8. This is insane. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what the the little swirly wind is, the hard. I don't know what any of that means. It's kind of incredible that we're going to have like a <laughs> an incredibly 0 to 8 is just insane. 
and it ended up being a 09. Well, even this 6, which honestly we probably need to heal instead, but even that 6 could take care of it. Or this cavalry. Does that mean that we want to attack Shalom? We do have 1 to 3s there, but the 1 to 4s, wow. We have a 1 to 5, we'll take the 1 to 5. Ended up being 1 to 4, 0 to 5. And ended up being 1 to 5. Luck not really working with us today. This guy's already attacked. So yeah, I mean this 7, this 6, they're both really good candidates for reinforcement. Even the 8s, I mean, should we just take a turn off on the offensive? We're doing so well. I mean, they just, they can't be doing anything. I can't imagine France is doing anything except for, like, can we go to graphs, France, research diplomacy? Yeah, they haven't been able to do anything but spend points on units constantly to replace things. Now, actually, the spent on units is much less than the collected income. Oh, that's because they're not just reinforcing, they're buying new units, I guess. Does it say... I don't know. I, I don't want to look at it too much. Don't want to. We're trying to do this episode faster. <laughs> Go quickly. All right, let me look at this real fast. One, two, one, three. Well, his supply is down to two. I think we just wait on this one, one more turn. So we'll go ahead and do this. And probably move this 10 who's already attacked here. That means this six will get reinforced. I'll just do it right now so I don't forget. This 8 can move forward, or the 9 can move forward. Lots of them could have opportunities to move forward. I guess this guy will move forward. Wait, no. He'll move forward because this guy needs to move here so that... I don't even know if this headquarters has to move forward or not, but I, did, I do like that we did this. We're going to put pressure on that flank. I don't really see the advantage of pushing so far ahead. I believe that supply won't go that far it will not and this is a hill which is good to know it's one extra movement cost so we probably don't want to we probably want to break off our our front here just leave a gap in it which is what the French have done too we could rush rush to Vichy which is where I plan to put the new government wait what wrong war um, yeah gosh it, it is it is kind of tough we have some tough decisions to make here. What exactly to do? We need to bump supply forward. I did make sure all the HQs were properly arranged. But this guy's got to get forward. I mean, okay, let me, let's me let call it here. I'll need to go back to that. We'll finish it off, but I'm getting uncomfortable. What I want to do is with our submarines, I want to move this submarine probably all the way out here, but I want to do it like... So, okay, well, he didn't find anything, did he? Okay, <laughs> there they are. So this guy can still move. We're gonna have two submarines out. Do we wanna try to kill this battle cruiser? We have a battleship, I mean, we have some ships that could be in, in place. Yeah, let's do it. Two to four. I'll take it to four. Oh my god, we got him. Oh, that was that was that was well worth it. We'll swap. That's perfect. The fact that we can swap. The Italians are going to join, so we probably need to get these units actually just out of the line. We're going to continue to blockade. Is this guy on raider mode? He is. So this is going to be fine. Fair enough to do a lot of damage to any points coming in. Let's get these guys out of here. In fact, can we lay another mine? No. So I guess we only have mine laying one, but it's probably a good time for us to get these guys the heck out of Dodge. And this destroyer in here. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I think they were sunk ships if we didn't do that. But not bad. We got another battle cruiser. Those battleships Certainly not in good shape, but at least they'll have to come and find it. And if they do come and find it, there's a possibility that um, they'll hit our submarines first. And we still have the uh, 
Royal Navy to contend with. I haven't really looked over there yet, but all in due time. Um, yeah, we have some interesting <laughs> decisions here. Do we want to try to push this attack? This guy can even move over here and attack the HQ. If we do this attack, can we push through on it? 03 versus 02. Let's just take the O. Okay, yeah, I think we'll take this. This only gives us supply of three. We're really going to have to manage the supply here well. So this is a 10 because only because it is a 6. It's a 5. Are we stringing? How are we getting supply here? Does it take a supply of 5 to a 10? Oh, I mean, if we can attach somebody... Oh, wait, the rating is 4. No, I actually want to attach as many people to this guy. <laughs> Let's detach him, attach him. Attach. Okay, good. I think that's perfect. We have everyone. We do. Good. So now you see what I do for HQ management. Not a big deal. Feels like the most natural thing should be use this unit for that one. Um, then we have these units who can push further forward. Yeah. I mean, they're taking brutal losses. Toronto, the capital, so I, I guess we can go ahead and cut this guy off from both sides. We've already done an attack. One to three. Oh, he has no HQ now, so his success chance is worse. Let's do this. One to two, that's fine. We'll take it. Whoever gets there, you're a two, so do that. One to two, move him back. And a one to three. Okay, now, very important, we have to operate this unit before I forget. <laughs> And I almost did. Okay, that's good. That's going to be a good defense. We need one other unit here, but that's not as critical. I don't think... I don't think that they can get to it. I mean, I will be a happy man if we can just take that in time. But I don't think we can get an operate. Oh, we can? No. You. Ah. Nobody can operate. <laughs> okay. Wait, you can operate. But do we really want him to do that? <laughs> no, I don't think so. So we're going to have to roll the dice that the units which become active. I don't know who who will become active, but that any of the units will come back, that, that when they become active, hopefully they cannot march in and take Brunick on the first turn. We're not gonna leave Trento, so. And this was definitely vulnerable since this guy would just take the road. They'd have to go through Mountain? I think they can't do that, unless they spawn here. It should be three points, and then the problem is if Zona Control, we don't have anything in here, they will just automatically take it because of zone of control? I'm not sure, maybe these cities, as we saw over in St. Malo, we have a person next to it, they don't have anyone in there, so hopefully we can just operate somebody in there next turn in order to save it. <laughs> but I'm really happy that we secure the crossroads, that's gonna be good. Um, and now we have the Bulgarians to deal with as well, which is fantastic. Are we gonna be able to reinforce that guy? Very good. We have this naval situation, since we can't really do anything, we'll probably end up putting people into port we need to, you know, heal this destroyer to hopefully deal. Oh my god, he's just in such bad shape. We need to get him up to 10 in order to hopefully have a chance to deal with the Russians' submarine here. And I don't know, I guess we could operate... Yeah, okay, we can operate this unit to the front. I didn't think about that, but this could be our unit. It's going to have, I think, unfortunately, not very good... I mean, what, what else are we going to do with it? I think we have to do this. Oh, cancel. 
So wait, if you do operate. Okay, it does not take the points away. So we don't have the ability to operate this thing because I guess the railroad connection is... Why not? Yeah, I don't understand this. I actually don't understand why this unit cannot operate. Oh, is that supposed to be a different railroad or something? I don't know, to me it looks like they're attached to the railroad, but what do I know? All right, well, we're bouncing around all, the, all over the place intentionally to try to get this done as fast as possible. We're at 35 minutes. We can do it, Tortuga. Um, I probably need to scan this before we have any idea what we're doing. Wow, oh, God, we lost Warsaw. I think if we can, we'd really like to take back Warsaw, but we don't want to get in, you know, caught up in this a silly game of you know making no advances I think okay it looks like our better option is gonna be to take lods this turn yeah let me look at these things off camera and then also I need to make you know figure out what I want to do with the Royal Navy okay well let's go ahead and make use of our dreadnoughts and battleships in the area to try to once again liberate the massive number of submarines that we have. So I think what I'm gonna do is try to push this guy around and see if there's anybody in the way. Having six, he needs to come back to, for repairs anyway. He also has low supply, but, um, oh man, he can actually make it into port, but let's just get him here. Yeah, so this, I think this channel's clear. We can actually repair him out of breast next turn. How funny is that? <laughs> uh, we'll take this guy off of silent mode, put him back on the hunt. He has six supply, so he's good for another turn. Um, but first of all, I guess the next step is to get this Dreadnought. I really, okay. Dreadnoughts will do more attack damage. Zero three. Good. And we'll get this guy out of here now. I mean, now we're, this is real danger for the Royal Navy. <laughs> Putting like some serious stuff in their way. Okay, I guess I'll defend here. <laughs> we can get a Dreadnought, like, I'm a little worried. Is it worth trying to see what's here? Oh, nothing. Interesting, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get this Dreadnought out. Oh, yep, he's stuck there. Um... Can we attack? You, have, you haven't moved yet. I don't think it's a good idea for us to attack with... Okay, well they have nothing close by, so we can move this CVL. Oh, why can't we go here? Oh, it's darker... Ah, I see. I misread that, but it's darker... Yeah, you need to get out of here. First of all, go on hunt mode so you can move a little bit further and we'll get you to the nearest port that we can. You haven't moved yet, you have an attack. I just want to scan their ports. I guess it was kind of obvious that there was nothing there, but I want somebody to sit on this one, so I'm gonna sit there. Or you can get there. 10 points, you have 15. You have four supply, 103, you're lower. Let's see if we can finish this guy off. Nope. <laughs> nope, they're just not capable of doing anything. We do have a destroyer. Okay, I prefer not to use them like this. But if we go here, let's just see this. If we go here, can we attack? Uh, there's no undoing and we cannot attack, so that was a waste. All right. Well, nobody's close enough. We don't want him to get away, so here we go. Nothing happened. No! <laughs> oh, God. This damn thing is going to get away after all that. Well, actually, he can't really get away. No matter where he goes, he's going to run into something. I mean, I guess he can get into Waterford, though. Damn. Oh, well. 
we did a lot of damage. We didn't have any, we didn't take any casualties. Aha. Okay, let's just move back. <laughs> I think we even, might even want to move further than this. We don't want to be detected. Okay, let's just stay there. Now we know where they are. And we also know, I mean, we can probably learn a little bit from this unit. I think I want to start investigating from the far right first. So that I believe that that's the best situation for us. We move all the way over here. Okay, they have nobody in this one. We'll check that one next turn, and then we'll keep looking. Eventually, hopefully we'll mount. I don't know, our attack is actually going up through the middle, which is insane. <laughs> But it's just, we're, you know, we're dealing with what we were given. If we can get a group of battle cruisers together, we might stand a good chance up on the east. But, okay. Let's go over here. It's pretty simple. What we want to do, we want to run away from a big dreadnought. We'll figure out a way to deal with that later. And this guy can make it into Memo, so we'll do that. So I actually feel pretty confident about Memo holding right now. Um, I think the Briti uh, the Germans, I should say, are about to get trench war- no, it's actually the Austro-Hungarians who are about to get trench warfare. Well, we'll probably be able to boost trench warfare. It is, I mean, it is important. Is it for the Germans? Maybe not. It really is for the Austro-Hungarians. I probably will want to invest a third point into it, just to make sure it's ticking along at maximum speed. I would like to know if there's a ship in here. I guess the Dreadnought's as good as anything to find out, and the answer is no. Do we want this Dreadnought to go to port to get repaired? Like, this Dreadnought is, is just good to go. And I honestly think that we should probably control this area with at least one Dreadnought. But let's have this Dreadnought move into a place where he can get repaired and still make a difference. I think that's this port it strikes me as a good option. Kind of the same thing with the battle cruisers. They're better on the attack than the defense, though. So we'll move this guy. I'm I'm actually trying to think: should we be defending these areas to make sure they aren't captured by like an amphibious assault? So just for that sake, I'll move this battle cruiser here. Um, hopefully Antwerp is not vulnerable, but I guess I can move a destroyer over here to prevent anything else. And these guys are at 10. So the question is, where do we want our mine, our, you know, to lay mines? I don't know. Um, I'll think about that and we'll come back. I still don't even know if we have enough points to supply who. This submarine actually is going to go over here. Now that we know we have some juicy targets, let's give them something to think about. Okay, we can repair that one. Heavy cruiser is probably going to move west. And now we're back to Russia. So let me try to figure out what the final decision is in France. All right, a few quick jabs here. We're going to move this unit forward. We're going to move this unit. We're going to do this and then that just to cut off that. It was bothering me. And I don't think we suffered too much for doing that. I mean, basically, we could have entrenched, but I don't think this unit will even be attacked. This unit's going to move forward. I haven't really decided what's the best option here. He has to move forward, though, so that this guy can take his spot. Oops. Uh, oh, I, I think I want to move him here, just to make sure that there is a zone of control. I'll take that. Um, so this should be 9, 8, 7, 6. And this should be 9, 8, so this should be a 10 ranging out from here, in which case, honestly, there is, I wanted to move him here, but then he's off the road. Uh, nine, eight, it should only be one, but even if it's two, it'll be six, and then I can really still push supply forward nicely. Um, and that means this guy will be in better shape. So it should be, I, I think I have to do this. Let's do it as a test. This unit can still move forward if we want. Now, because this guy is going to be here, that's 10. So let me just do it. Yep, there it is, 10, 10. So this is good. This guy is at 6. This guy, poor, poor fool, is way undersupplied at 3. But 
He's at five, at least he's not at four. Um, this was nice, getting the two tens out of that. And we're getting better supply. So you're at eight. If we move this guy here, he'll be at seven. That's not bad. Or we can move forward really too far. I imagine that's not good. Oh, it'll be a six. Huh. I honestly want to do this because it's better scouting information. Yeah, I think we'll just leave that. And he can he cannot entrench. You haven't even moved yet. That would be a very bad attack. Apparently, Bourges is very, very well defended. Um, again, what's down here? This would be a six. That's not terrible. Six and six, I believe, right? Seven. Okay, well, this guy is definitely going to move here. And now we found airplanes. Okay, we also have airplanes. <laughs> Get these guys to move over here so that they're a little bit closer to the action. Okay, well, that was good. I mean, we did have a lot to do. France is collapsing, but it's just its not quite there yet. With his one attack, we probably could have taken Orléans. I don't think it's going to matter much. We'll be able to take... Even if they reinforce, that's really low. Is on supply of six. Okay. And this guy's given to give make this a ten, so nine, eight, seven, six. This yeah. So we don't these will both be in supply. If they're reinforced, we'll have to take them back down from ten. That's a possibility. Um, you're at five, so at least your supply will be at five. It's all a game of supply now. Um, I don't think we're gonna be able to finish this turn in one episode, so. I'm probably going to call it to a close here. I feel actually very comfortable doing that. I, I know I was really rushing. Um, we're going to have all the Ottomans to deal with. We have the Russian front to deal with. So let's just go ahead and call this to a close. I think that was a still pretty productive turn. But let me know. I mean, if this is still lagging. Um, I've had that feedback and I'll continue to try to improve. <laughs> let me know. Uh, but for now, I'll try to get the next episode out quickly. Thanks for watching this one. Sorry to end it part ways like this. I don't like doing that. Uh, until that next episode, thanks for watching and take care.